if you have not like and subscribe the channel please like and subscribe the channel today i am going to share you in this video how you can set up the intune there, there is basic steps to configure it and 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 you know right uh, if you are doing or if you are new into the microsoft intune this is the base base place to uh, learn my, about microsoft intune so if you're working as a consultant or you're working in a, any organization you you may be wondering how you can set up the intune so you can go and watch the video but i will tell you in this if you're watching my uh, here right you will see how you can set up and what are the steps you can do uh, if you are doing the first time or or if you are learning or being is a beginner right so the first thing is to uh, once you plan to buy or use the microsoft intune uh, then once you get the tenant because it's in cloud right so uh, it's not a one on premise it's in cloud right so <clears throat> how you can set up the first step is to configure the custom domain name right and then add the users and group if you have integrated uh, on premise active directory then you 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 need to use the azure ready connect and it will connect your Intune tenant through the Azure Ready via Azure Ready Connect and then your on-premise ready server. Right, the license, roles, admin permissions, everything you have to define and then you have to set the MDM authority. Right, I will show you where you you, you all can, you, you can configure all this and this is one time, right. So the, the, the mark in blue, right, the configure custom domain name, users and group, license, roles, admin, MDM authority and company portal and branding. These are will have to do on it's only one time when you get the tenant. So uh, this is the my tenant. If you go here, right under the tenant administration, uh, the URL for the Microsoft Intune is uh, the intune.microsoft.com. So if you open this intune.microsoft.com, let me click this, it will open, right? So the Microsoft will, once you purchase this Microsoft Intune, they will assign this portal. So you, uh, once you log in with your uh, credential, then here you have see the connected tenant status. You see the tenant name, tenant location, the MDM authority, right? So if you are doing the first time, you have to click on that here and set the MDM authority. You can also do from the Azure Ready, right? The service release, the uh, you and see the license assigned. If you click on the connector status, you have to configure all these connectors, okay? And then customization, right? The tenant customizations, right? Under the customizations, you can you can define your uh, the branding, right? Name, organization name, theme, color, and everything. I have already shown you everything. You can you can support informations and everything you can put here custom notifications terms and condition if you want to so this is all one time you can do and you can you can define the rules as well right so these are the things uh, uh, the licensing you can create a rules so that that's why i have mentioned here right these are the things you have to do it from here right the, the second option i mean the after that once you configure or the tenant and connectors everything uh, in the first place then you have to configure and the apps and product the apps right so and then third option uh, third steps is to use the compliance and conditional access policy uh, there is two type of right compliance policy and then conditional access policy so conditional access you can uh, uh, do from the azure and for if you are apply if you are applying for the device base then you can also apply from the intune right but but to make sure the conditional access is very uh, case sensitive so you 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 need to understand the conditional access i have already made video how you can create the conditional access and uh, product your environment and then you can configure the device feature and setting and then enroll your devices so these are the steps there is five steps the first is set up intune is one time second is you can add configure and product the applications profile S uh, the third option uh, third is uh, steps is to configure the compliance policy and then device feature and settings and then enroll your devices right so follow this method 
to become a and learn how you can set up the Intune if you are on new on the Microsoft Intune. Till then, thank you. Have a good day.